before I begin, I probably ought to give you my real credentials because you know it, we live in a day and an age, if you don't have the right credentials, people don't take you seriously. And they brought me in here today to speak with some authority. So that's why I'm gonna give you my credentials. Here they are. I was a D minus student at Alamo Heights High School in San Antonio, Texas. I failed PE four years. Took Algebra one, failed it, took it over, passed it with a D minus. Took Algebra two, failed it, took it over, passed it with a D minus. My typing and shorthand teacher, Mrs. Reed, told me, and I swear this is the truth, she said, never disgrace my name by applying for a secretarial job. <laughs> I was a senior taking sophomore geometry. Whether or not I graduated depended upon that geometry grade. I'm talking the 50s here. You did not graduate in the 50s. But we didn't think I was going to graduate. So I went to my geometry teacher. He's a man named Mr. Long. It was his first year as a high school teacher. I said, Mr. Long, can you tell me what I'm going to make in this class? He said, let me see if I understand this. In order for you to graduate, you've got to pass my course. Is that true? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, I am going to pass you but I want to tell you why. If I fail you, I will have you again next year. <laughs> so I found out I was going to graduate, and that was great, except something better than graduating happened my senior year. I got to explain it to you. I'm a redhead. Well, I mean, I used to be a real redhead. Now I dye my hair in my natural color. And when you were a redhead growing up in the 50s, it was awful. Because, see, you can't see my eyebrows and eyelashes because my hair is so light. And we didn't use a lot of Maybelline and mascara and stuff like that back in the 50s. So what you had back then was this red face, ruddy complexion, freckles, no eyebrows and eyelashes, and two blue holes. <laughs> and what that all boiled down to was that for 12 years, nobody loved me until my senior year. And he came from Indiana. Apparently all the girls in Indiana looked like this. <laughs> And he wanted to go steady, and I said yes, and it was great, because I got to wear his letter jacket and go to the prom. And then after we graduated, he wanted to get married. I figured it was probably my last shot at it, so I said yes. 